the process of uterine lavage is where we slowly infuse a small amount of fluid into the uterus and then bring it back. Small amount of fluid in the uterus, bring it back. And the idea is to go ahead and remove an implanting blastocyst on day five after either uh, conceiving by intercourse or by intrauterine insemination. And this is the first real uh, look at the in vivo created embryo as opposed to the in vitro created embryo. You know, we've had a long experience with in vitro fertilization, but the whole concept of uterine lavage is to uh, remove the embryo from the uterus so that we can actually look at that embryo. I mean, there's some animal data that suggests that perhaps in vivo created embryos might actually be a slightly higher quality than in vitro, and we may get around some of the potential concerns about in vitro fertilization. We infuse small amounts of fluid in and then remove them, and basically over a three-minute uh, period, we are able to turn over the contents of the uterus 36 times, and this will allow us to be able to get um, a very defined amount of the contents out of the uterus and hopefully have the blastocyst within them, within that volume. So the candidates for this procedure would be women that have had previously affected children or a child with, let's say, um, cystic fibrosis, Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, any of the inherited genetic diseases, or a woman that, let's say, has the BRCA mutation for breast cancer. She doesn't want to pass that on to her offspring, and so therefore we could um, lavage the uterus about the fifth day after either intercourse or intrauterine insemination, bring the embryo or embryos out, go ahead and perform prenatal genetic diagnosis, take the unaffecteds and freeze them for future transfer in a thaw embryo transfer cycle. The concept here is to actually give uh, reproductive endocrinologists and clinicians and embryologists an, a view on, into the world of the in vivo created embryo. Well, this is going to be a the only way we can actually do prenatal genetic diagnosis or prenatal genetic screening currently is to create the embryo in the, labor, uh, in the laboratory. This will allow us to be able to do a uh, non-IVF related uh, diagnosis of potential genetic diseases.